to relax, to take in the day, to be okay with just being fabulous you. I can teach you a thing or two about living a soft life. I'm just waking up in my little dome. <laughs> Today, I really just wanna have a super relaxing, super feminine, super chill day. Welcome to my whimsical, beautiful, relaxing Airbnb in Tepotlan, Mexico. The view here is absolutely stunning. I really needed a weekend away from the hustle and bustle of Mexico City, so I came here. As you can see, I have this cute little dome all to myself with a queen size bed. It was so comfortable and right now I'm making my bed because I like to start my mornings off feeling clean and organized and making my bed every morning, ah, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Next, I'm gonna wash my face at this little station here. Here is the shower. The communal showers and bathrooms here are so clean and so pretty. The link to the stunning Airbnb will be placed in the description box below. Right now I'm walking down the road in Tepotlan. My goal is to get a cacao latte. I am craving some cacao. <laughs> some friends of mine took me to a really nice spot the other day and I'm walking down right now so I can properly start my soft girl morning. <laughs> Come walk with me. I absolutely love the view of the mountains while walking in Tepotzlan. It is so scenic and beautiful and something about being here feels so whimsical. Here we are at Cacao Mexican Chocolate. This place is amazing. It has the best breakfast, the best desserts, the best chocolate, the best cacao drinks. Uh, it is definitely a place you want to come visit when you're in Tepotzlan. Hi creative crew, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Dawn and today I'm going to tell you how you can live your best soft life. My whole life is basically centered around how I can live a soft life. I wanna enjoy my life. I want to take in amazing experiences. I want to talk to amazing people. I wanna have an enriching life. I don't want to feel like I'm constantly striving to get somewhere. I wanna enjoy things in the moment. My life starting in 2023 has really been based around that. 
How can I enjoy my life? How can I take in each moment? How can I not feel like a slave to a corporation? That's what really pushed me to travel and to see new places. Even though we have our typical worries in life like bills and responsibilities and all of those things, you really have to learn how to put your well-being first and how to really take in each moment as it comes. How can you not be so focused on what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to do the next day? What do I have going on next month, next week, next year? What do you have going on today? What is something you're going to do for yourself today? Whether it's take a bath or go for a hike or journal, which you should be doing every day. But what are those things that you'd like to incorporate in your day to day to just make your life more enjoyable? Go do something that helps you become more grounded. Make sure you know you're showering, taking a bath, exfoliating, taking care of your skin, taking care of your body. That's important. You know, your health is important. Incorporating healthy foods into your diet, you know, things that just make you feel good naturally. I bought a lotion in Mexico that just smells so amazing and it's all natural ingredients and I'm hoping that before I leave, I can find uh, the brand again and buy like four of them to take home with me. Oh so, yeah, take care of yourself. Take care of your skin. Set aside time to take care of your body. When you look amazing and you feel amazing, that is going to be a huge component to living a softer life. My next tip to living a softer lifestyle is let things come to you. Stop chasing every little thing. Stop chasing a career. Stop chasing people. Just stop chasing. The more you chase, the more things are going to run from you. Let things come to you. Let it happen naturally. My favorite thing about traveling is people and things have just naturally come into my space, into my orbit. And I have been open to accepting those things and taking those things as they come. And I think before in my life, I used to be such a chaser. I felt like I had to strive for everything. I felt like if I wanted this person or this thing in my life, I had to really work for it. And I got to a point where I said, you know what? no more i'm an amazing person i'm here existing in this space with other people and the right people in my life are going to come to me or they are naturally just going to be in my space the same thing comes with work opportunities you know things that i really want to do i just surrender i surrender and i am more open to things coming into my orbit that really helps me live a softer stress-free life i'm able to rest in my feminine and just let things come as they may prioritize your energy and protect your energy your energy is so important and it needs to be protected at all costs protect your energy and honor your energy one of the things i do to honor my own energy is i do breath work and i really just tap into what's going on with my body that day I take the time to breathe in, breathe out, and really have a strong sense of my own energy and honor that energy so I'm able to protect it a lot more. Don't ever be afraid to live a life that you desire. The more that I've stepped out into the world with traveling and not being so tied down by a nine to five schedule, I've really been able to tap into what I want in my own life and realizing that I'm able to have what I want in my life. And you're able to have what you want in your life. You're able to live a softer lifestyle. You just have to prioritize it. You have to know that it is possible. I didn't before think that it was possible, but it is. Relaxing is a big part of living a softer life. And it doesn't mean lazing about, but it does mean getting the rest that you need, moving at a slower pace. It does mean journaling reading, prioritizing your hobbies. That's what you need to be doing. And another thing I recommend, encouraging other people, being a light to other people will definitely help you live a softer lifestyle. Be light to the people around you. You know, bring in good energy. Stop complaining so much. If you wanna live a softer life, you have to stop complaining so much. Nobody wants to hear you complain all day. Okay, be a light in the world, be a light to the people around you. Take it easy, 
okay? I know that especially in the United States, we tend to be on the go all the time. We tend to be in a grind type of mindset. And for some of you, this may be a serious fight. It may be a serious adjustment to not grind all the time, to not hustle all the time. It doesn't mean you're not working at all. You're definitely still putting in the work, but you're not striving as hard. You're letting God work in your favor naturally. In 2023, let's live a softer lifestyle. Let's prioritize ourselves and let's be a light to the people around us, okay? So if you like this, this video feel free to like and subscribe if you have any suggestions on how to live a softer lifestyle please leave that down in the comments and start incorporating these things into your day starting today you will be living a softer life before you know it bye